Hey there everybody, welcome back. How you all doing guys? Hopefully you're all having a great day so far. How's it going there Mr. Bodine, Mr. Kilroy and anybody else out there lurking? So, once again it is Friday, which means fact sheets. Woohoo! I just hope Twitch is going to behave. We'll see. It's currently showing a little bit unstable, so we will see. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. But anyway, fact sheet. So, yeah. Also, we'll get into that in just a minute. Hey there, Green Thumb. How's he going, bud? So, first, a few things. Obviously, if you haven't checked out the Farming Simulator website blogs, obviously, the other day was a garage trailer released for you guys to check out. Definitely just come over, have a look at the video. It's quite interesting, shall we say. A little bit different to normal. Also, Farming Simulator is now officially on the WhatsApp um, app. So if you've got it, you can obviously get the channel, get updates regularly and stuff like that. Um, obviously, yesterday, the big thing is obviously the final, the third crop was, information was released. And obviously that was the Red Beats. So if you're interested in, interested in knowing a little bit more about it, so obviously... Yields wise, you're looking at about 57,800 litres per hectare. Um, average selling price 1,220 in game monies. Obviously, this is just set up for dollars. Um, seed per hectare is going to be used 40 litres. So, not a lot, a little bit more than some of the others, but yeah, not bad actually. Growth time is going to be four months. Obviously, you can plant them in April through to June. And then harvest from August through to November. Ah, doing good. Decided to fire up FS19 today for a little bit of nostalgia. Oh, nice to put on Bodine. I'm surprised you're not playing Ark as well. Seems like everyone's playing Ark at the minute. So, <laughs> oh. Right, so yeah, that is your literally your information for your red beats there. Obviously, one thing that might be coming in is a... Really, really red looking burger. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if that's a hint to something that's possibly coming in one of the productions. We'll have to wait and see. But same thing as the carrots and the parsnips. Obviously, you do need to prepare your fields first of all before seeding. And then obviously harvesting equipment, the same as previously mentioned. So, yeah, nothing new there. But, yeah, that's kind of making me feel hungry now. interesting anyway that's enough on red beats so fact sheets for this week so let's scroll on down to today's and obviously we're up to f uh, friday october the 27th and obviously we've got a few bits to cover quickly so we'll whiz through and then we'll jump into the game so first of all it's going to be the agro giganta i think that's pronounced uh, 13500, which is obviously a sprayer for your herbicide and liquid fertilizer. It's going to cost you 165,000 with a work speed of 7 miles per hour or 12 kilometers an hour. Obviously, work width will be between 27 to 36 meters, which isn't bad. The overall weight for this is going to be 7 tons. And the capacity is 13,500, so eh, not bad. And obviously, it's a new um, company coming into the game, so that's quite nice. On to the second one. Obviously, this is a uh, two-piece mower. Obviously, you've got your front one and the rear one, once again. Obviously, this is by the Samaz, I believe it's pronounced. You've got the KDF341S, which is the front mower right there obviously it's going to cost you 14,000 for that you can need do need an 81 um, kilowatt or 110 horsepower for it to work so obviously you're going to have to combine the horsepower and then match up the tractor just bear that in mind as well if you are using these obviously work speed is 13 miles an hour 22 kilometers per hour weighs 1.3 tons and there's a work width of 3.4 meters and obviously that is that front mower there and on, on to that second one at the back that 
I always call it a butterfly because it sort of opens up like a butterfly, doesn't it? But anyway, this is the KDD nine four one STH mower, seventy thousand five hundred to purchase it. You will need 220 horsepower, so combine them together so you got 330 horsepower minimum needed to run both of these successfully on a tractor. So it's going to be a large tractor, I'd imagine. Uh, same work speed as previously, so 13 miles an hour, 22 kilometers per hour. Obviously weight-wise a little bit more so, as this is a 3.8 ton in weight mower, obviously because you've got both bits on the back there. And then work width is 9.4 meters. So, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Just another more, really. And then finally for today, I've also got the Dwarf GK uh, 2S, I believe that is, or IIS, whatever you want to pronounce it, or put it as. Um, yeah, anyway, this is obviously a two-row harvester. It's going to cost you 148000 for this. You will need at least 170 horsepower to basically use this like i said it's a two row weight wise 7.1 tons and obviously this is going to do your carrots your red beets and your parsnips and obviously this is it for t the today anyway in this week obviously we've probably got some more coming next so yeah obviously all the other fact sheets are up here if you're interested in reading into them a little bit more obviously you can go over to the dlcs to the premium edition and you do have all the vehicles that's coming anyway, which you can have a quick look at. So there is quite hey, a Billy. lot still to go. Hey there, Viking. How's it going, bud? Uh, could be better. Yeah. So just wrapping this up quickly before we jump into the game and have a little chat with Mr. Viking. Obviously, this is going to be released on November the 13th. Remember that. Obviously, if you... Or 14th, should say, actually. Um, if you haven't got it already, it's obviously you can still pre-order it and get that 5% off. Also, if you have the Season 2 Pass, it does come free included with that, so you don't have to worry about it. But if you do want to purchase it f for yourself, obviously there is obviously the individual DLC, but you can also get a pack, I believe somewhere amongst here, in one of these, um, where you can actually get not only this, but previous DLCs along the way. One thing to remember when you do go to checkout and you see, scroll on down to the partner code and support your favourite um Giants partner, obviously Dajnet, myself, um, Darius, everyone has their own partner code. So if you are interested in supporting them, make sure to ask for their partner code before checking out as well. So there we go, done and dusted for today. There we go. Let's jump into the game and get some work done, eh? Yeah, Mr. Viking, I hear things are not so good at your end. Yeah. Yeah. It could absolutely be better. I yeah. Was in the hospital yesterday. Oh, jeez. Came home. Came home today. Okay. My arm is still not working. Oh, that's not good. Uh, no. And they have no clue what's wrong with it. Oh. So. Yeah, yeah. that's not good. <laughs> nope. So not only are you going through issues, so am I, because I've had a bad back for the last couple of days. So my back is in sympathies mm -hmm. with you, Mr. Viking. So. Let's hope they figure out what it is, so yeah. Um, right, so let's jump back to chat. So, can't afford Ark at the moment, and also don't think my PC can run it. Yeah, yeah you never know. Obviously, you've got Mr. Dave, Mr. Darius, they know a lot about it already, so maybe speak to them to see what they um, think about that. You never know. You might be able to run it on the lowest settings there. And how you doing there, Big Tigger? Right, I can get rid of my earbud. All sounds good to me. Now, just quickly for anybody who currently has animals and have been playing for quite a while, there seems to be a bit of a bug with the enhanced animal mod currently. Um, I have let Dave know. Basically, what it is is none of my animals are actually aging. Also, I do know that Vortex has pretty much had the same issue, so something is going to need to get updated pretty soon but yeah obviously I have gone through I've mentioned it to Dave in a message hopefully he'll be able to get on and sort something out with that right so now I've caught back up so yeah so if any of your animals are not aging that'll be why 
Right, so let's bring this across so that they'll line back up properly. There's that. Yep, so that's fine. But yeah, how you doing there, Mr. Vortex? And we'll put you on... Dutva, hopefully, if you got to go. Oh. Do you want? Pick it up. Pick it up. There we go. And we'll give you a little bit more room for turning around. Take you to 30. So, yeah, once again, I am on to baling this field. Obviously, this time I am going through. I'm drying it. Um, the old alfalfa and bailing up and all that, so yay, fun in games. Right, so let's get this set up. And d d too big, there we go. Perfect. Right then, Mr. Badlad, how's it going, buddy? Is this Arcasent? No, really? I cannot afford it currently, so I won't be playing it anytime soon. I have got far too many bills to focus on between now and Christmas, so yeah. I doubt I'll be playing it. But to be honest, from what I've seen from obviously Dave's stream and Darius's, it does look a great update, that's for sure. Graphic-wise, it's amazing. Obviously, adding in the babies and such. Yeah. I would love to be able to play on it, but currently, not a chance in the heck. But how you doing, buddy? Uh, doing good here, listening and watching whilst on work. All right then, Mr. Vortex. But yeah, thank you very much as well for your um, message in Twitch um, about the animals as well. I'm glad I'm not the only one having an issue with them. There we go, there we go. Obviously, one thing is if you do have a um, new save game running, you should be fine. Obviously, I've gone in. I did a bit of testing yesterday and today. Obviously, if you've got a current save game where the animal aging is not going up. So, basically what I mean, if you come into the animal menu. Hey, Farmer Marks, how you doing, buddy? Good morning to you too. Obviously, even, evening for us over in, on the other side of the world. For myself and Mr. Viking. We're sort of early evening now. Um, so well, yeah, yeah basically... it's <laughs> ten minutes past six, yeah. Oh, but, yep. So and obviously I'm an hour just behind him. So what I'm basically on about is obviously if I could bring this up, if you look here where you got age twenty two months, this when you pass through a month, it is not going up on any of the animals at all. Obviously, something is definitely bugged out because obviously I know I for. A um, since putting these cow down, cows down, I've gone through, obviously I put it down in August, I'm now into September, so they should have at least gone up one month, and they haven't. Um, the same with the pigs, obviously they're only at one month, and they should be at least two to three, so yeah, there's something definitely not quite right going on there. <sighs> but hopefully Mr. Dave can figure out what the issue is and get that fixed quickly. Obviously, he will be streaming a little bit later for us, so hopefully he can shed some light on that situation. But apart from that, obviously, I've now got Cargill uploaded to my Google Drive for him um, for when the update does come, along with... Oh, heck, what was it? There was another factory as well. Do, 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 do. Darn it. That's going to bug me. Uh, Google, Google Drive, Mr. Dave. Oh yeah, the Kellogg's update. That's the old. That was the other thing as well. Yeah. So hopefully at some point they will be coming out for you guys. All right. I'm trying to keep it as far away from the undone stuff. Maybe I should have done this part first on my own. Oh well. Never mind. Let's go down here. He might pick up a little bit, but hopefully it'll switch back over. But yeah, there we go. I'm keeping an eye on that dry alfalfa. It should stay as dry. dry. Yeah, it looks okay. It looks okay. Might go away with it. So yeah. Fun in games, eh, guys? Fun in games. 
Oh, but yeah, I think what it is is with that obviously the last update to the enhanced animals were added in basically the um, this thing here to do with the reproduction um, vet fees and stuff. I think something when that was added got broken. So, but actually, I was just thinking about something actually. Let me see enhanced animals. Uh, animals can be removed. Animals can be removed. Uh, health drops to zero. Okay, so that's definitely. I was just wondering if there was another something being added in, but doesn't look like it. Uh, mine seem to be aging. I just changed the month and checked them, and they went. Yeah, obviously, if it's a new-ish save game, you should still get the aging. But for those who have been playing the map a lot longer. Obviously, I'm now over 700, nearly 800 hours into this. Um, yeah, so as you can see, 772. Obviously, at some point in the last update to the Enhanced Animals, it's just basically stopped. I have no idea what's going on. Obviously, I've got no warnings. I've got no errors. My save game seems fine. So, but yeah, obviously, I've loaded all these mods that's on this save game onto another one onto basically a fresh start and it worked that way fine so I have no idea so it's definitely not a, like a mod conflict or anything going on so yeah I have no idea what the heck's going on but yeah um, obviously Mr Vortex um, has the same issue and I have been contacted over the last week or so with several other people who've had the same thing where they've had um, save games for quite a while and their animals are just not working as they should be which is a right pain in the butt but hopefully that can get sorted out the only thing I the only thing I didn't test is obviously basically removing the current animals and replacing them after saving and going back in I know Vortex did have a little play um, so I might have to do an additional test with that but basically removing all of the animals save and then go back in and get some more animals and see if it kicks them back into gear but currently hey, nothing hey, KW. and how you doing K-Dub? Sorry I caught you off there Billy <laughs> That's okay I was, I, was, I was just yakking so it was kind of helpful <laughs> Okay <laughs> uh, But yeah we'll get it sorted out don't worry if you are having difficulties um, oh, dang it, you're not there. V I K I N streaming. Um, oh no, I can't remember. Your, is it 2021, isn't it? Yeah. Hopefully, I get that right. There we go. Go. That was good. Remember, yeah. guys, to click on that link. Give him a follow if you're not already. Obviously, Viking Don't is. That. Viking Don't is that. an uh, Viking guy. He's an amazing content creator and very, very helpful within the community. And while I think about it, da, 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 da. I know absolutely nothing. Mr. Green Thumb Farmer as well needs a shout out. So there we go. Obviously, make sure to click on his link as well. Obviously, he is poised to release his Woodworks factory. I just literally noticed about five minutes ago um, he has posted for the SGA members if they want to test it out. It is in modding talk currently, so mm, I wish I'd seen that before. We may jump, get that downloaded and jump into a new save and test it out. See what it's like before the end of the stream. But yeah, I want to try and get as much of this fuel done because it's really doing my head in. But yeah, for some weird reason, I don't know what it is. Um, I woke up yesterday morning, and yeah, I could barely move. Um, yeah. Um, oh, was that a vortex? I removed and bought them again, but I don't think I saved before we were reborn. All right, yeah, yeah. I'll do a quick test over the weekend and see if that would sort them out. But yeah, what I'll probably do is basically sell all the animals, sell the pens, save exit and then go back in so then it's loading up a save game that doesn't have any animals and then buy them back and do a test that way and see if it works or not but uh it's fine i literally only thought of that a little while ago so yeah but obviously if you guys are not following billy alpaca 78 give him a follow he's a bit of a noob 
Um, but yeah, he kind of occasionally knows what he's talking about. And obviously Mr. Dashnet as well. Obviously he was playing a little bit of Ark Survival Ascended yesterday on a bit of a bonus stream to show everyone off um, the new game. Obviously he was on the server with Darius and a few of you guys actually. But yeah, if any of you guys are playing it, what do you think currently? I do know that there was a update put out earlier today because Mr. Darius Frost was streaming and yeah, um, had an update for it. But you're very, very, very welcome for the shout out, Mr. Green Thumb. You're very, very welcome. Uh, Billy, question. Do we need or have to have horses for any reason? Nope, they're completely useless. I haven't even got them. I'm not even thinking about horses. So yeah, personally, it's up to you. Um, I know in 22 horses, to be honest, they're just a waste of time. So yeah, yep, don't need them for any factories. They don't really give you anything in return. To be honest, they cost more to raise up and get up to health. Then yeah, I wouldn't even bother. It's the short story. So yeah, no. <laughs> uh, would be nice if they did have a purpose, but no, unfortunately. Maybe one day we'll get them into a glue factory or something. I have no idea. <laughs> I know some people have mentioned about that, but yeah. Or oh, no maybe the butcher shop? Yeah. Um, yeah, butcher shop. Get a bit of horse meat and a bit some of the bones for um, glue. But I know some places it's not used anymore. But eh, some places still do it that way. Um, anyway, yeah. Hmm. A money maker potentially get horse helper more than just feed them. Yeah, how you doing there, Grinwald? Obviously, you could do that. Obviously, I don't know how it would work on this map with all the other scripts. It may conflict. Obviously, I do know when I was playing on my Wolf Creek map or save game. That's gone back a long while. Um, obviously, I had horses. I raised them up. I spent hours and hours and hours training them up to like 100% went to sell them and basically got about 5,000 in return so compared to 19 yeah they are just not worth it anymore uh, thank you um, I looked and couldn't find any reason for them I want to check oh uh, yeah no worries there guy that's the whole point of these um, streams just to ask questions and office if nobody is streaming obviously there is the discord um, just pop your comments in there and somebody will answer you. Obviously, I haven't really paid too much attention myself, so I should really do that a little bit more. Neither but, have yeah. I. Uh, good, thank you. Mm. Finally on ho You're finally on your holidays? Cool. Yeah. And to be honest, I don't have the energy for it. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, as well, for anybody kind of new to the map, Obviously, a lot of the questions being asked have been asked previously, so maybe it'd be worthwhile just scrolling through um, some of the comments and stuff, and you'll probably find that the answer's there already. So, but obviously, if you can't find it, just yeah, post it, and we'll try and get you an answer as soon as possible. Either myself, Viking, or somebody within the community will answer you. But yeah, Grimwald, I'm not doing too bad overall. Bit of a sore back still. It's not. As so bad at the minute um but yeah the first thing like yesterday and this morning my back was f right yeah absolutely killing me and obviously there's viking pinning the channels straight into my chat thank you very much bud hey grinwald oh, how's it going bud uh, not grinwald freaking oh what am i like grits fan oh man that's bad I'm sorry. Yeah, how you doing there, Grits fan? <laughs> you good? Oh, good. Glad. Oh, it's because I've seen Grimwald above you. There we go. Obviously, if you guys are not following Grits fan 101, make sure to click on his link. Give him a follow. Obviously, he is playing this map. He's got some unrealistic, I suppose, equipment. But yeah, um, definitely go over and check out. And make sure you say hi to him as well when he is streaming, because. His numbers are a little bit low, but it'd be nice to get him up a bit on viewerships and stuff. So, please help him out, will you guys? And 
Yeah, Green Thumb, I literally seen it a little while ago. But how you do it? Um, I'm actually going to download this now. Try it out on stream in a moment. Hopefully this is not going to mess anything up. Download, download, go. Right. Oh, I hope this doesn't cause any buffering. <laughs> if I get any buffering, it's due to do downloading a new factory from Green Thumb, which I will show off in a wee while. So hopefully it stays pretty stable. The connection overall is not too bad, but there may be a little bit of buffering for the moment. And how you doing there, Rusty Nail? Right, let me just sort, sort that out. Uh, does Viking have something... Yeah, a new mod on his Trello? N I don't think Viking does, no. You haven't got any new... No. What, no? No. No, it's got to be Green Thumb Farmer's new factory. On the... Uh, the fact sheets and that. Mm-hmm. Obviously, obviously, Mr. Viking does have a few um, mods of his own. Some cedars and that over there. If you're interested. There we go. Oh, did it? Oh, yeah, stayed on half, dry off half a good. And how are we doing? 12. Okay, cool. But yeah. Oh, good. Good. Glad to hear it, buddy. But yeah, how are you getting on with your save game? Hopefully, doing pretty well. One thing I'm still waiting on is those saplings to bleak and grow so I can get rid of them. <laughs> I hope they're not broken as well, that's for sure. Oh, Maybe next month. Oh, he put his new factory on title. Um, not yet. It's available for SGA members only currently, but that should be going up um, on his Trello as soon as testing is done. I believe. Let's see. Green thumb, green thumb. I, there you are. But yeah, it is coming. It's coming. Yeah, no, it's not up there yet. So that's cool. Hey there, Big Vito. Hey, Big Vito. How's it going, bud? And yeah, if you guys are not following Big Vito, make sure you click on the link. Give him a follow. Obviously, he was playing a bit of Farm Sim 22. And obviously, one thing, if you haven't checked him out, obviously, he has been playing on PV Canyon Crossing recently. So go over, give him a follow and check him out. Obviously, he's started down in the southeast farm. Obviously, that's got to be all the way down this end down here and he's slowly spreading out so yeah he's got quite a nice setup going actually very very interesting southeast yep but yeah how you doing there bud and farmer dad how you doing bud uh afternoon all since cats and dogs don't eat as much food production in the factory why can't it be sold to one of the stores it could be but obviously dave wanted to keep them um, I think that's something that Dave is going to probably look into, is obviously tweaking some of the animal foods. So either they produce a little bit less on certain products, but obviously what you can just do is leave them within the factory itself and just pull them out when you need them. That's all I'm literally doing. I'm just taking out a pallet or so just to top them up. But yeah, they're not eating that much, and obviously I have mentioned that as well a while ago to Dave. So hopefully that's another thing that gets sorted out. Yeah, it's a pain in the bum. I will say one thing: it's, it is nice. It's a nice mod, this enhanced animal. But to be honest, it's starting to become a pain in the bum. There we go. Let's get you brought over there. You should be fine. Thirteen. So you need one more bale, which should be popping out soon, hopefully. Then I can get that one offloaded. But yeah. Uh, I hate you for all your help. That's no worries, Mr. Gr uh, Grits fan. No worries at all. Happy to help when I can. Um, I see you mowed the grass by the dock area on the central farm. 
Um, well, actually, this well, this is actually alpha an alpha alpha field. Um, but yeah, I did originally uh, mow this whole area um, that when I extended out. I did have a field here previously. Or actually, I might have had two, which I've combined. But yeah, um, yeah, it was actually mowed, and then obviously I've had a field here for quite a while now, and I'm sort of rotating different crops in here. Obviously, at the minute, like I said, I'm doing alfalfa. Obviously, the last cut was about three, four in-game months ago, um, where obviously I just did normal alfalfa bales. Obviously, this time I'm going through, I'm tearing it, and obviously I'm creating the dry alfalfa this time. And obviously they're going to be going to storage for my animal foods and stuff like that, which is kind of helpful. I'll probably get another, maybe one more cup, maybe two, before I change over again. Now obviously if you are doing this, you, what you can do is, I believe you can pick this up and actually turn them into silage bales. Obviously it won't be an alfalfa silage bale, but I do believe it's just a normal silage bale with these. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, I've never actually tried it, but you could. Obviously you do get a pretty good yield of, of alfalfa. But you could do your clover, your grass as well if you wanted to. But yeah, this is pretty much what I'm going to be doing the rest of today. <laughs> um, right, how we get on with numbers? Uh, 32, okay, I think we we'll get to the end of this row and what we'll do is I'll just call it there for a minute and we'll go and do some a little bit of testing and showing off of green thumbs new woodworks factory so let's get you brought around here VB. yeah i had a hard helper on this um previously on it and when he turned around he's completely missed a little bit but yeah one thing i do need to do and make sure that i do this time is to get in fertilize it lime it as well and yeah make sure that that's working right so you should be full which you are thankfully let's take you off we'll unload that quickly it would seem so big of you. obviously this weekend i believe he wants it tested with some members within the sga and uh, anyone that chooses uh maybe contacts him you never know but yep yeah, um, obviously that will be coming out soon. What is SGA? Sim Game Alliance there, Grits fan. Obviously that is the group that Mr. Dajnet created. So, right, let's save this. Let me... Do, 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 do. Download. Bring this over. Morning. Someone's coming in chat, and I don't know if I want to speak to him right now. Okay. Uh, hey, bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boss, how you doing? All right. <laughs> Did you see my little message? Yeah. We already knew, but I mine are working the ones that I had before. Mm, none of my animals are aging at all. Be right back. Phone Okay. We're, the only thing I can figure out right now is we might have to go back to the other one. I've tried it, it worked. and it didn't uh, make a change, and it didn't make them age or nothing. The only thing I haven't tried yet is basically selling all animals and pens, saving, then loading up with the old one, and trying it that way. I don't know why. It, it's, I have yeah, no idea what's going on. Something is bugged out. So let's go on to here. But I, mine are still aging, the ones mm. that I had. Yeah, none of mine are at all. And I run it through three, four, three or four months. And none of them aged, even the new ones. My piglets stayed at one month. The um, Swiss Browns stayed at 22. None of them changed at all. It's very, very weird. Um, right, what am I looking for? Green thumbs would work. So I'm guessing it's going to be on G. Green thumb farmers manufacturing factory. That'll be it right there. It looks quite nice, that picture. Right, let's see if there's any issues while it's loading up. But yes, new save games seem to be fine. I did, um, obviously this save game I'm loading up right now. Um, put some animals down earlier on and yep, they're all aging perfectly fine. 
so yeah what i'll do is over the weekend as i'll actually sell off all of my animals I'll, i've got a copy of so my current save the, game is there a difference in the stat line between a new animal pen and an old man animal pen in the xml files oh good question uh documents is there any additional stats that are missing when you start a new save compared uh, to the old uh, so that's save game five. Might have to manually add them in to get them to work for the ones. That yeah, are that's one thing I was thinking. Um, placeables in it. So placeables. So there's that. Let me close all those other ones. And so that's the new save and my current placeables. Right. So. Let's find. Let's just choose any old one. So find. We'll go with the piggies. Let's do pig. Uh, da, 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 da. This should be somewhere around here. A pig pen. Uh, 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 uh. Hopefully. Pig forest. Pig. Come back across. Uh, pig barn small. So this is the one, my one. Nope, that's yours. That's the pig forest. Pig. Why is there so many things that have pig foot in them? <laughs> um, hang on, let me see if I can find... What's mine called? Pig, 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 pig. Pig pen. Let's see. Pig sty. Let's see if we'll come up with something like that. Maybe. Nope. Nope. Uh, pig barn. Oh, wrong egg. There we go. That's what I want. There we go. Okay, so global factor husbandry of credit on zero pending is that okay? So that's the current pig pen on the old save game, so that's age 61. Do, do, do. Is it? Or is that something else? Pig barn small. Let's have a look. Find next. Pig barn small. There we go. So that's my one. Gotcha. That's what I'm looking for. Right. Let's see. So this is currently two months old. So this is my new save game that I've just done. So let me see if I can find that again in my current. Make sure to find the one with the animal food and everything in it. No, because I haven't got one place down. Dag damn it. I have no idea. I'd have to look. But let's see. Uh, farm ID 1. Global factor 1. Water. Liquid manure. Straw. Obviously, overcrowding is zero. Um, we've got all the different animals. 10, 30, 30, 10. That's the amount of animals, obviously, the, um, yeah, that's the boars in it, so 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 100% health, reproduction 0, um, is inseminated false on each line, month since birth 0, or last birth 0, yeah, because they're only babies anyway, um, that's fine, that's the food, of crowding is false, I'll automatic inseminated nation true that could be changed actually um do, 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 do. so that's that what would a sheep one look like and just compare out of interest sheep or cows or something beef farm beef farm actually 
This should be further up for the sheep, wouldn't it? Goat shed. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. See, the only difference is. Yeah, looking at that compared to the pigs, the only difference is it doesn't have the bit at the bottom about the insemination. This part here, with some of them. The goats don't have it, the sheep do. That's interesting. And I really need to get some of these sheep out of here. <laughs> Getting old. <laughs> um. Yeah, what I might have to do is do a few tests and see if I can figure something out. Uh, you don't know. But just a quick one. Let's go through. Okay. Neither do I. It's a friggin' weird one. And no, I didn't break it. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> not because other people have been mentioning it as well, so it's not just me. Uh, so, anyway. Uh... What was that? That was the. Oh, okay, well, that's fine. Da, 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 da. Just make sure there's nothing in my log. I'm pretty sure it's pretty clear apart from the three yellows. Warnings, but. Should have added the camera mod. Should have added the camera mod, so. Yo, cripes, yeah. That's okay. I will figure it out, and yeah, that's just the mod, so that's fine, because I've got a few. They're opened. There we go. Righty then. Actually, I'm going to keep that open, because I do need it. Come on, down the bottom. There we go. Um, Right then. This thing is huge from what I remember seeing, so I'm hoping PB Tier 4, and right there it is. And it's taken forever to load up. But it's there. Right. Hopefully there's nothing in the way. So yeah, one thing you will need, guys, is obviously that camera mod enables where you can zoom out a little bit further. But jeezy peeps, that thing is humongous. We'll plonk you there. And it's disappeared. It's vanished, Green Thumb. It's vanished. There's nothing here. What's going on? Uh, Green Thumb. Don't let him talk to you that way. Um, might have a problem. I got parts of doors. I think that's a door, is it? Or something? And I'm also stuck within the building. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, there's something funky going on. Is this meant to be buildable? As well. Thinking about it. We got a uh, part of a gate there, got part of a gate. Yeah, something it doesn't seem to be quite right there, Green Thumb. Um, um, turn you on. And, let's see. Now, obviously, with that disappearing, I would guess there's probably a drop-off spot. There we go. It's within the trees. But, yeah, obviously, one thing you want, might want to do is just have a look at some of these bits. Green thumb. Um, obviously, you've got gates showing and... Uh, yeah. Where was it? Where was it? There. Whatever that is, is showing on one side. Let's have a look. Let's bring up collisions. Is that where the office is by any chance? Or is that a door? Oh, no, it's a set of doors. Okay. Looks like the inside of the doors there are showing still on one side. Um, same with this trigger. 
you may want to have that reset um, with the tr this trigger as well you might be able to get that to disappear if you put it within the group as well uh, yeah I was on about this what this gate here is that permanent is it because you should be able to get that to disappear I don't know maybe it's just the way it's loading in anyway let's have a little look see what we're going to need to build this thing obviously I'm going to just cheat maybe spawn in a few items let me jump over oh it's on already is it nope oh heck wrong key uh, fly it on okay let's see let's see let's see what's going on so for this behemoth of a factory you will need brick concrete glass metal pipe shingle drywall floor tiles prefab walls and shelving Ugh. okay time to cheat in um, let's just check the trigger is working first of all um, a, B, so let's grab some bricks or something. Obviously, I would recommend you build this correctly, but I'm just going to test a few pallets, make sure that they're working. Uh, brick, oh, go on, keep going past it, let's see, one, two, three, that seems fine. We'll grab some concrete, the troublemaker of a pallet, let's see, oh... Concrete right there. One, two. See, that's the problem. You put it on the ground and it doesn't all go. There we go. Uh, okay, so that seems very fine. All right. Now, before I do this, I am going to go to the starting screen for. And we're back. So, just quickly, I did spawn in all those pallets, got them in there, ready. So, hopefully, if I bring up the time, that should now start building. There we go. And while we're at it, we'll come up and we can see it building away. Ugh. Now, one thing I it's would... A big one. It is. Um, ba -ba 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 -bam, it is humongous. So while that's doing that, I'm going to read chats, right? Uh, okay. Okay, no worries. See, I broke it. I didn't break it, great fan. Oh my goodness. Uh, there are fence selections covering the gate so you can't drive in. Okay, so I take it those will actually... Um, disappear once it is built then okay to allow the access cool okay so yeah obviously where the gates are around the fencing obviously once i'm it's built obviously this will basically remove the fences so you can actually go in where the gates are and now obviously you will need the platinum dlc for this factory and obviously it is designed to be used on pv canyon crossing just bear that in mind now, obviously, what it's going to be doing is basically all of the forestry pro DLC production, so the Platinum DLC productions, are basically combined into one. But what Green Thumb Farmer has done is he's actually taken products from the map currently and made put them into the production, so they make the each in individual item off. We'll look at that in just a moment once this is finished building, but yeah. We'll get there in a minute. So rather than just putting uh, long planks and beams and this, that and the other into making a single product, you're going to need several products to make one item now with this. A little bit more work, but more realistic. Uh, da -da -da -da. But yeah, it's a beast of a uh, factory. And the one thing as well, Adult Green Thumb was really keeping an eye on is obviously the size of it. 
from what I understand, the visual signs of it within in um, Giants Editor, the triangles are actually less than a few of the f the big factories on here, so shouldn't affect you too much. Obviously, he has done a lot of work on it. He's built it pretty much by hand. All in Blender, and yeah, done a really good job of it. Actually, this absolutely jump around. And then also, see all the XML on. work afterwards. Yeah, all of the XML work, the whole lot. He's done testing. There's still a building there to come in. Obviously, from I have seen it. Um, obviously during his stream while he's been showing it off, and yeah, there is a huge dock area somewhere in here. I believe it's on this end where you can actually back up. I think it's these doors here actually is part of it where you can actually back up using like the Hispano modern containers and spawn the pallets out and just put keep them going into those containers. It's quite it's quite a nice one. It's basically taking several ideas and putting them into one. But yeah, come on. So what's that? Just over a month in game so far. Actually, it might be this end where they all spawn out because of that big gap. But yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there slowly. But yeah, obviously, if you do want to check out some of the building processes that Green Thumb went through to do this, click on that link in chat, guys, and check it out. Do, 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 do. Actually, I wonder if I can hey, up that Oppies. a little bit. Hi, Oppies. How are you doing? Let's talk, go up to 500. Out of interest, Green Thumb, with this green area, does grass grow on that, or do you have to um, paint that yourself? Obviously, I do know that there is a foliage layer that you can add to add the grass in. I'm going through the night once again. I wish it was a little bit lighter at times on on um through the night. I know in 19 they had the um oh one of the mods that allowed you to there you go that's the area I was thinking of um where you can actually make it a bit brighter. But yeah, this is the dock area where all the uh, pallets spawn out of. Obviously, he's done an amazing job on this so far. Ooh, got some looks like he's got some illumination from in within the office. Nice, but yeah, the whole factory has actually got occlusion culling on it as well, so it, anything behind it will be hidden, which is quite nice. Oh, the lights are coming in. I'm gonna keep an eye on this little bit at the bottom. They all seem to come in really quick then. Let's see. It's almost there. It's almost there. Okay. Da, 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 da. May have to drop it down a fraction. But obviously, when you get to do it yourselves, guys, you'll get to see it progressing through. There we go. Well, look at all those parking bays and everything in there. Ooh, we've even got a sign there. Look at that. Nice. Let's come down and have a look. So, Green Thumb Farmers Manufacturing Inc. Nice. Oh, heck. And there we go. That is it done. Obviously, as you can see, let me come down to the ground level. And slow the time down. Oh, not up it. Down. Obviously, you get all these gates. You can walk up to them. You can open them. Oh, they're a bit fast, but yep. See, one thing I would... I don't know if it's just me, but I think they may want to be slowed down a bit. They seem very, very fast. First thing. So there you go. First note. Maybe slow down the, the gates. Because that is freaking fast. If I stand right there, I'm going to get chopped right now. Look, see? Ugh, I'm dead now. Anyway, um, maybe option two is to add in a grass foliage. But yeah, obviously he will be sort of tweaking it between now and then. And obviously going through and then putting up on his Trello. Very, very nice. Obviously what I'll do is I'll 
jump it through the night so we can see this light being illuminated a little bit more so if, obviously in here is obviously your 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 uh, player trigger also one thing you can see as well is what quick one um green thumb why does this already show shingles and floor tiles but i haven't even put anything into it that might be something that needs to be looked at maybe and i haven't got this is a brand new save game from the other day so there shouldn't be anything in here yeah this that shouldn't be here Uh, okay, I got gotcha. you. All right, so the, yeah, they're used in the the building process. Gotcha. The the. So there, yeah, there we go, guys. So this is literally what it's going to be using is your obviously planks, nails, glass, glue, pallets. Obviously for boosters, master boosters as well within the map as normal. You have got your electric labor support and various boosters, so wrapping stuff like that. Um, carrying on with materials you need is obviously metal, planks, wool, packaging wood shingle and floor tiles so yeah obviously you don't really need that for the actual productions so that's just mainly for getting it built right then so coming outwards picture frames obviously you will be getting some wood chips of which he has uh, his own uh, personally made conveyor belt for loading that we'll get to that in just a minute so easel barrel bucket bathtubs obviously floor tiles or uh uh, armoire, chair, table, cat, tree, bird house, dog house, shingle, staircase railings, pepper grinder, and bowls. So, depending on what the product is, the items in here may vary, but looking at it, it's all pretty much the same. See, I would have maybe switched it around a bit, I don't know. Just me, but yeah, let's see. Because obviously a bowl, for example, doesn't need glass or nails, so I'm not sure, or glue. So, yeah, I'm not sure why they're in there. But yeah, anyway, so obviously this is it. So let's just have a little look around the outside. Actually, let's jump up a fraction. Obviously, I am going to scrutinise this. Now, obviously, one thing I do know, obviously I've been watching them quite a bit, and a lot, all of these pipes actually have a smoke you can I don't know if you can see it in the stream but there is smoke actually coming out of these pipes already that one there looks like it's slightly the oh see there's one right there but I'm not sure exactly where it's coming off of <laughs> it's almost like it's moved I would say it's probably coming off of that one but yeah that doesn't look quite right there lined up wise I don't know if it's just me Hmm. But yeah, he has done a good job of it though overall. Um, right, so obviously we've got f little fans spinning around. Nice. Let's come on down here. Obviously this is going to be where all the products come out. Obviously you want to know where the stuff's going to be dropped off, don't you? So, if we zoom around the other side. Obviously yeah, all these buildings are created by Mr. Green Thumb. This is the obviously where you pick up your wood chips. See a nice little conveyor belt and everything with a nice little uh, display there. Not bad. Coming around the back here. It's like a little power plant. Nice. You put a lot of thought into this, that's for sure. So you've got some more output bays there. So this is where you'll be unloading your products into the factory. So as you can see right there, you got your glass, you got metal, you got nails, packaging, pallets, planks, planks long, wool and wrapping and stuff. Well see that's where it's gonna be unloaded into. Now all of these doors, if I remember rightly, should work. Let me come off of there. Did don't these work or what? I thought all these doors were working. Well that one definitely does. Oh, they might have to be open, open from the other side. Yep. Okay. Uh, trigger on the right. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Do 
Interesting. I'd imagine you'd probably have to do it from the inside would be the better option, to be honest. But yeah, as you can see, he did actually... Ooh. Did that just move? I'm sure that moved. I might be seeing things. I don't know. Maybe it did, didn't. I don't know. But yeah, obviously Green Thumb got all the animations working great. Now, that, I... I would remove that light there personally. Obviously, you've got a big pole going right through it, but I'm just being picky, to be honest. Um, did this, so I'm guessing the same thing right here on this side. Yep, there we go. Lovely jubbly. I'm liking it. So, got some bays, boxes. Right, let's load this in with some products, shall we, guys? But yeah, I do like those shelves. They're quite nice. Now, I am going to change screens just for one second, guys, so you don't see what I'm doing. And there we go. We've got a lot of products in there straight away. <laughs> so, obviously, as you can see, when you drop off logs into here, which is going to be this trigger right here, obviously you are going to get some uh, log visuals spawning in, which is quite nice. Obviously, on the inside here, we do have individual pallets showing in as well for the different products being added on the shelves, which is quite a nice little... T little thing to do is kind of cool ooh glass yep definitely liking it so far and just out of curiosity what was that there oh the nails nice oh there's a collision on there so yeah that's quite nice now just being picky I'd maybe take that fan out just a little bit more or whatever that is on there but yeah, the light is looking good. So most, if not all, of these doors should work. Now, as you can actually see there, he even got the animations on the handles, which is really, really cool. Oh, I like that. Right, there's, is, do these light switches work or not? Probably not. So I'm not even going to mess around with that. So coming obviously in here, you've got like a little production area. Now, did I activate any of those lines? Let's get some activation. Obviously, I do know that he added in some loads and loads of different animations into this. Do, 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 do. And wild well, thing about it, there was a hydrate earlier on. So let's get this lot going. There we go. Okay. Why did that go straight? Why are they going straight to red? I'm missing glue. How come that didn't add glue? Is there a third? Oh, look, see, there we go. They've got some animations on the workbench there. That's kind of cool. Let's see, let's see. There must be one other. Is there another a liquid trigger around here then? That's one thing I didn't see. Da, 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 That's for you wood chips. Uh, do, 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 do. That's outwards. Glue right there. Okay. Ooh, I recognise some of these images. <laughs> right. Before I do it again, so let me change screen stack. And if by magic we now have 50,000 litres of glue. Cool, okay. <laughs> but yeah, obviously I would recommend you guys doing all this. Um, properly coming in with the tankers and trucks and stuff. Righty then. But yeah, as you can see, the belt here is actually animated. It's gone along. That's kind of nice. I like that. That's kind of cool. But ba -ba -ba -dum. Oh, but yeah, let's see. Make sure all these doors working. Oh, got to come over to the trigger. There we go. Yeah, it's really kind of cool. I don't know if you actually noticed that. Is obviously when it's going up and down, 
Obviously these lights are changing, which is really cool. Let's see, let's see. I don't think you can get out of this one. I'm going to surprise myself right there. So there we go. We've got loads of different little areas of production going on. It's quite nice. There we go. Obviously this is just uh, uh, the... the, the Glitter and stuff. The main thing what we're after is the stuff that's coming out. But yeah, obviously got you can actually explore it a little bit more, guys, if you want to. See, this is one of the dock areas right here for goods going out. Uh, may want to look at this shadow casting on some of this stuff as well. Green thumb. I think some of it may have been missed just there. So, on this side, what we got? Old pusher system, start. Don't know what comes out there. Let's see. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. So, as you can see, it's only going to output a little bit. So, let's get this jacked up and make some stuff. We'll run it through the night. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Actually, before I go too far, what I did want to do is see that um sign at the front so let's come out of here i'm lost i'm lost guys where the heck's the door i came in i have no idea will you let me out please let me out let me out there we go but yeah there's plenty of lights and plenty of access in plenty of access out Right, where is the sign? Must be outside. Okay. Let's turn that off. So yeah, it's definitely got a good amount of lightage on that sign. So I like that. But yeah, cool. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Zoom on time. Right, I believe we were at the other dock. So... Round back, a little bit of tracing there. I do apologise if anybody gets upset with that. Um, right, so this is probably the docks I was at. So I would need to come back in this door. I'm hoping. Obviously, another thing as well. If this is just the small detail that Green Thumb actually did. Is I cannot get in the door. Crouch. Come on, in you get. There we go. Got there eventually. Yeah, don't know if it's... Let me turn this off, actually. For the minute. But yeah, it just seems... I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like the doors are a little bit small. But, obviously, if you look, he even got the little bit at the top of the door there um, cl uh, properly folding and stuff. Done a really, really good job. Right then, let's see what we can see. So... We've got seven pallets, so let's get this slot spawning out. Spawn, spawn, sp oh, actually, that can stay on store. But spawn, spawn, spawn. Get some pallets going. Oh, that one, that one, that one. Obviously, I'm terrible at showing things off. But where are they going to come out? That's the question. Let's see if we can just manually spawn a load out. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Spawn. So depending on the product would depend on where they actually spawn out. So bear that in mind. So you may want to have quite a few trailers set up for this. Da -da -da -da. I'm just going to spawn a little bit of everything for the minute. Hopefully we're right about here now. Uh, did I do a table? I have no idea, but we'll do something like that. We'll just grab a lot of these. Obviously, you guys can look at these in a little bit more in depth when you get it after the release tomorrow. But there we go. So, yeah, obviously each area is set up for a specific spawn item. Obviously, he's done a really good job of these. And one thing you can do is obviously come over, open up these doors, place down a 
container by obviously Hispano modding, like I said. Oh, nope. I'm buggering that one up. I can't get the door. I can't get to the door. Go away. Hello. A door doesn't want to open for me. Oh, there we go. May want to open up the <laughs> open up these doors prior. Um, putting any products down, but yeah, I'm not getting a door open there. Where is it? Hello. There doesn't seem to be a trigger there. For oh, there we go. Funny little doors. Open. One more. Come on. Behave. Open. Okay, there we go. Got there eventually. So, yeah, what you may want to do is just go through and open the doors first before you spawn anything out. How you doing there, Mr. Jababo? You, don't worry about the caps. Holy cripes. How are you, sir? It's been a very, very long time. Hey, Jab. Do, 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 do. I have been watching some of your satisfactory uh, videos on the in-game on, on your YouTube. But yeah, if you guys have not followed Mr. Jababo, click on that link. Give him a follow, guys. He's an amazing content creator and covers a lot of different subjects during his stream. So definitely check him out. I had to turn on the... Uh, yeah, no, that's one thing as well. Um, Green Thumb mentions is if you're using the animated object mod, you may want to remove it due to the fact it does um, interfere when you spawn pallets out with these little triggers as well. Right, so to get these to work, so all you, obviously you're going to need a trailer there first of all. I'm just going to get this going. Come up to the uh, display here. Obviously, as you can see, I've got the F1 menu up. Also, it says pusher on. Just click your old left mouse button. And the pusher will basically push all those items onto your trailer. So you can then move away and deliver them to where they need to go. So, obviously, that's going to be your armoires. You've got your chairs, your tables, your barrels, your buckets, and your bathtubs in this section. But yeah, he's done a great job actually on these. But yeah, these are all lined, uh, perfectly sized for those trailers, which is quite nice. So if I come back on and put this on, and we'll zoom around to the other side quickly. Because time is ticking on, I wanted to try and do some other work, but it's fine. Right, so obviously this is going to be, the, and as you not, may, may not have noticed, obviously each bay is allocated to a specific number as well which is kind of cool so let's try and come in here oh that one's a little bit better actually that's not bad but there we go so obviously this is the second basically uh, what would you call it goods out area and obviously over here we will be having some easels your picture frames cat trees, your dog houses, your bird houses there, your bowls, your pepper grinders, staircase railings, floor tiles and shingles. So same thing again with these, obviously open up the door, have your Hispano modern tra trailer, I don't think I've actually got any installed in here to be honest. Da -da 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 -da. Nope. But, do I have it active? No, I haven't even got the, the UAL scrap, um, script running on here. But yeah, just back up your trailer to the dock there. Obviously, if you're using the containers, that's probably the better one to use. Because obviously, you can open up those back doors and then just have them loading straight into the container. It's great. Uh, doing much better now, thanks. Oh, good. And it's good to see you back at streaming and creating some videos there, Mr. Jababo. But yeah, so overall, it's not too bad. Obviously, he's got all these doors working, going into different areas within the factory. Oh, hope so I've got it to the right spot. So yeah, obviously, you guys can actually look at it a little bit more in depth. I would definitely recommend maybe downloading it and giving it a go. 
because he has spent a lot of hours making this. To be honest, uh, from what I understand, this he actually started this prior Canyon Crossing being re released. So, and even oh hello, um, that might want to be moved. Yeah, I don't think that's meant to be there, Mr. Green Thumb. Um, not even sure where that was meant to be. Uh, where the heck is that meant to be? Is that meant to be over this side, maybe? Let's have a look. That's fine. That one's fine. Yeah, that one's not animated, so it could be that one there. Or that one. I don't know if that's even meant to be on. Possibly. Ooh, look, he's even got logs inside. Look at that. Blimey. Let's see what's out here, quickly. But yeah, this seems to be... An extra... Oh, there we go. There's the other part of, part of it. <laughs> oh. Uh, I fixed that this morning. Oh, okay. No worries, then. But yeah, all of these shut doors will open up. All of the in inner doors work, so... Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Let's see if I can cheat this open. There we go. But yeah, and then obviously we're back into the goods in area. But yeah, that is actually a really, really nice. Obviously you've got all the potholes and stuff. Very, very cool. Out of interest, do we have any wood chips yet? Yes, we do. Now this is one thing I, I don't think I've actually seen myself. So I'm going to try it. Let me find a biggish trailer. Something like that will do. We'll grab you. Bye. And we'll buy a truck as well. My old faithful. Hello, you. Actually, no. Let's go with something that's a bit more appropriate. So, a DLC. We'll buy you. Thank you for the share on surfing. Hey, surfing bud. How's it going? But yeah, obviously this will allow you to, rather than having, was it 10 to 12 small individual factories, you could have just one large factory and do it that way. It's going to make life that a lot easier. I think I might have to redo my um, sawmill area, actually. Right, so let's see if we can get in here and we'll just show that as well actually that that's interesting yeah still a little bit faster in my opinion right let's see if we can get some of this wood chips out of here just make sure it's working as well da, 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 da. There we go. So yeah, very, very, very cool. And obviously, as you can see, the actual display is counting down as well. So yeah, everything is fully functioning and doing pretty good. Now, just out of curiosity, I want to see just how big that is compared to the area over by the sawmill. Obviously, this is just a test map, Rusty Nail. Um, um, I have an idea of where I would put it personally. Um, but do I own that land on here? No, I do not. Obviously, this is just a test map, so we're going to just buy this. We'll jump over here if I can. There we go. So the area I'm kind of thinking is the other side of the sawmill here. So let's go grab another one. Obviously, this is going to be under your PV Mods tab. Uh, it might be a little bit big, so I may have to do some clearing. I don't know. Let's see. Tier 4 production, and it's right there. Dang. It's too huge. Um, okay. But yeah, I should have added in that um, mod. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. This is another area I haven't got to yet. Possibly fit it in there. Looking at that, but yeah, you can actually see underneath. I don't know. If, the worst thing is you can't tilt the camera up any higher. 
you can actually see everything and you've done a pretty good job so possibly in there it may fit I would have to try on my save game and see but yeah I was kind of thinking this maybe this area but it's a little bit big so may have to have a little look maybe clear some area within the the forest there you could put it down so yeah Is that where you put it, is it? Yeah, so well, that's not bad. So that's a, an idea. Obviously, I know Mr. Green Thumb's probably going to be tweaking it tonight. But obviously, keep an eye on his Trello tomorrow, guys, because he is planning on releasing that. Um, so there's just one last flyover, and we'll show you it. Make sure that's where we're working. Yep, good. And, yeah, obviously, that you can grab it tomorrow. Obviously... If anybody does need the link, just give us a shout. So, as you can see, it is a big old production, that is for sure. But there's a lot in it, and obviously he's done a heck of a lot of work to get this out for you guys. I bet he's finally relieved, wasn't it? But yeah, you're very welcome. I, obviously, I unfortunately, I've probably butchered showing it off, but I, I've tried, tried my best. I'm horrible at showing things off. <laughs> but yeah. That is a really, really nice factory. I like it. And I'm definitely going to be adding that in as soon as I've got some money spare. Because, yeah, just out of curiosity, how much was that? Tier 4. Yeah, so you're going to need 4.5 million for that. So, and obviously, as you can see in the bottom right corner, it's scrolling through everything that you need for that factory. Not only for building it, but also for... The production side as well so very 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 cool I like it I do I like that a lot that is very very cool lots and lots of work I might even be look looking into that a few things myself for future ideas <laughs> I love these bays they're great well anyway guys right so let's come out of here and jump on actually yeah just to see yeah so they've now actually gone up to five months five five three one okay interesting yeah so on the new save game the animals are definitely aging so no idea what's going on there but i'm going to save that for the minute and i'll have a look between the two of them that and my current save game with like the goats and such but yes Let's see if I can sort my windows out. There we go. And we'll quit that. Right then. Just quick reload and then I'll get back onto my save game. And actually that one actually has the camera mod as well. So I might be able to zoom out a little bit better. I will see what you think of the bays after you have backed up 16 containers. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I'm going to have to reactivate them, am I? Jeez. Thinking about it. Oh, see, at the minute, the only ones I'm actually using is those flat racks. So, yeah, great. Thank you very much, Green Thumb. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da -da. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Right there, we'll make sure that that's activated as well. But, yeah, there's a whole array of things on Green Thumb's um, Trello for you guys to download if you want it. Also, as you can see, I do have a few myself. But yeah, let's get this loading back up and I get that field finished off. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing that. Let's go over to Farm Sim. And there we go. And while it's loading up, I can have a quick drink. But yeah, how is Mr. Surfing, by the way? Let's see. Let's scroll back, let's scroll back. Right, um, I probably missed everybody's comment there because I was just focused on showing that off, so that's kind of mental. Right, um, blah, 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 blah. hopefully I didn't break anything. Um, yeah, I've painted grass back in, yeah, it would have to be a lot. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so regarding the grass, obviously you can just paint it back in if you wanted to. Hmm. Um, is 
this factory available yet? Obviously, the factory will be released tomorrow. Obviously, it will be a buildable. I did ask if he was going to make it color optionable as well. He said no. Go away, Billy. You're a pain in the bum. <laughs> but yeah. Um, let's see. The wood cutting machines don't work. Too many moving parts. Yeah. Obviously, that is one thing. If you have a big factory and you've got a lot of moving parts in it, it could affect your frame rate. So I do know he's kept it kind of minimal with the fans, the saws, and all that. So that's fine, buddy. Da, 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 da. And how you doing, Mr. Boomhauer? There we go. Finally, jeez. <laughs> um, yeah, the, with those conveyors, they are, like you've seen, they will push the materials out. But obviously, you'll, you have to activate them first. And uh, 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 on the map, blah 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 blah. You fixed up this morning. Okay, I think I'm pretty well caught up. Not too bad. Just warm. Uh, da, 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 da. Yep, there we go. There we go. There we go. It could be at any time there, Grits fan. By the way, for the release, so you just have to keep an eye on his Trello. And yeah, 16 bay, 16 containers, geez, yeah. But yeah, Mr. Boomhauer has been waking up a little bit more reasonable hours, should we say? And hey, coming into like Discord, so it's kind of cool. All week? Yep, all week. Kind of st strange. But no, it will not be on PlayStation, unfortunately, this map or any of the mods. Uh, Mr. Big Tigger, I am very, very sorry. <laughs> Tigger, shouldn't you be at work? He probably is lurking. Um, and there is a shout out, obviously, to Mr. Boomhauer. Obviously, he did stream a little bit of uh, Fishing Planet and the new Ark Survival Ascended. So, obviously, if you guys have not checked that out, definitely go over and see his view on the game as well. <laughs> oh, you, you're oh, off today. You're uh, off. Okay. Right. They actually give you days off? Let's have a look, actually. Right, let me come into here. And where is it? Camera, I zoom out. Where's that camera thing? Zoom factor 200. Just up that just a fraction. Let's have a little look. What it would be on here. PV tier four. Oh, that factory I want. There you go. That's a bit better. You can actually see it now. Um, yeah. So what you could technically do is take some of these trees away on the right-hand side and place it right next to obviously the sawmill. It's a little bit big, so you saw you'd need to do a bit of landscaping there. I'll see my other option is right here actually. Let's see if I can get In a decent water. angle. No. I'll see remove the three buildings that are here. Maybe put it butt it up right against there, for example. That would work. And obviously you've got a little bit of space going around it for obviously painting in your um roads and such around so yeah that could work obviously there's a lot of areas around here that it could work as well as maybe that side there just out of curiosity let's have a little look try and get out rough ideas of said rather me personally i'd want to try and keep it near the sawmill for a lot of the items could just be transferred straight over with a quick flatbed trailer Let's see, obviously I do know I've got a factory over here already, so I don't know if it's even going to fit. But let's zoom out a fraction, just to have an idea. Uh, it's a bit of a tight squeeze to be in that side, so yeah. Personally, yeah, I would probably look at the other side there. Or possibly clear some of the trees out a little bit more along here and put it over there. It's an option as well. So, anywho, 
you can do with it how you please at the end of the day but that's just a, my opinion it's a shame that couldn't be removed though it's annoying yeah I thought as much but yeah I'm probably going to look at purchasing the land with the three buildings and plonking it down there I think it would look quite nice but yeah like I was saying earlier it is basically to remove these buildings which are part of the platinum DLC amongst others um, so yeah it's entirely up to you and I do believe they actually output a little bit faster as well so bear that in mind so yeah but anyway back to it yeah but how is Mr. Bimhammer doing thinking about it I'm just you rabbit on here I'm terrible good good what's your thoughts on arc so far anyway I like it yeah uh I haven't seen a whole lot of the new things so right now it's visuals mm -hmm. but uh I like it I like I like the first one so yeah this one currently is uh, quite a bit smaller than that one too. Mm. And I take it it runs fine on your system, yeah? Yeah, even on my uh, mechanical hard drive. Oh wow! Instead of the SSD. Okay, cause that's that's a bit of a shock. So obviously in the settings it says uh, SSD. Mm -hmm. So that's good then. Right. Yeah. So follow. We're gonna offset now you. Now it, it would probably run better. Because uh, I do get a little bit of stuttering, but mm -hmm. to me it's fine. That doesn't bother me. Yeah. Um, what sort of graphic settings have you got your set to? I Just haven't adjusted them. Oh, okay. Well, so that's whatever something. they come as. Yeah. Yeah. I think I may have dropped the max frame rate from 60 to 30 but that's it all right yeah cool all righty guys i will jump off now go out and get some dinner all right we'll well, catch you later catch you later buddy um, yeah i need to fix some crashes in the game other than that um, i like it a lot mm. see i only got them on the server that was the yeah, only time well, I crashed. Try it today. <laughs> yeah, there's been a few uh, fixes. Yeah. Some people can't even load in. Oh crap, it did get completed. I was hoping it wouldn't do it. Well, we'll see what happens. And, uh, okay, green thumb, yeah, sorry, I just missed seeing um, your comment there about getting back to work. Yeah, cool. Thank you as well for giving us some early access to that to show that off. But, yeah, cool. Liking it so far. But, yes, yeah, this is basically what I'm going to be doing for the next, what, half hour, the rest of my evening, really. Um, obviously, in a little over 26 minutes. Mr. Dajnet should be live and we'll also be raiding over to him. And I'm hoping maybe a bit of farm sim today, is it? Or are you doing a bit of arc? You're hoping for farm sim? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's farming. Playing Friday. farm sim all the while wishing I was playing arc. <laughs> well, you could always do a half and half if you really wanted to. It's your stream at the end of the day, so. Oh, bless him. Isn't Got things to do, a ship to build. I bet. Sounds went back. Mm. The um, game changed uh, just uh, with the new physics in Unreal 5 that shipbuilding is not like it used to be. Alright. Oh. They had some special bricks you could do to make your boats that don't work anymore <laughs> I got a pretty decent boat but like 
trying to figure things out. Yeah, the, what, what was really terrible is obviously I, sh I was showing my, my daughter some of Darius's stream from yesterday, I think it was, when he was playing. And it was like, eh, whatever type thing. It's like, really, kid? Oh, it's a lap. And obviously, I've been, today I've been watching it all day, and obviously he's seen the babies and stuff, and I'm kind of disappointed that he's killed both of his um, rapses. It's like, no! One literally had as a baby. <sighs> it is what it is. But yeah, if any of you guys have not checked out Darius' stream... Um, I would definitely go through and have a look at it today. He has done a lot of stuff. It's kind of nice. Let's do this. I'll just bring that across a bit so I don't crash kinda into Kind of nice. Him. Yeah. He's getting his little area built up and stuff like that. It's nice. And, and the, actually, I'm kind of surprised he's not a lot further on. Oh, and one thing as well. You're, not, you're surprised he's not a lot further on. He yeah. He started over last night. I know. He's he just goes like he full steam ahead. Goes, and well, he go. is. Yeah, he's like <laughs> ten times further than anybody else. And you're not. Uh, I'm surprised he's not finished. No, but yeah, is like main base area is definitely be. coming. I don't know. Obviously, he's got the server version. I think he's doing his single player. I know he's still tweaking things, so. Yeah, obviously one thing he does want to do is have it up on his server for you guys to join in as well. So, yeah, if you've got the game, why not join in? I uh, can't log into the server studio Nitrado, uh, Stupid Nitrado. Uh, maybe it's an update, Acid Burn, I don't why know. Why can't you log into the server, Acid? I know they've pushed a lot What's of happening? updates. Um, one was actually through Nitrado earlier. Darius Are you screen. seeing the server? On the list? He, our server is the one he's paying for. He better get on there. You don't, nothing, yep. Yeah. Hmm. It's showing up on the list? Imagine that's what he asked for? He said, uh, yeah. Oh, now I don't know if it's the same as what Darius had. He had um, two of the same lines in his one of his XMLs. Um. Obviously, I'm, I have no idea to be honest, but yeah. I have a what? Uh, huh, huh. I wonder if it has an issue with when I made my player, apparently I didn't give it a name. Make sure your player has a name, otherwise it'll try to come in and, my, and the net, no name will already be taken. By me, who is just human. <laughs> oh, you're breaking up a little bit, Dave. Um, I have pictures. Yeah, typical. Best get it out of the way now. Um, yeah, so for anybody interested, there is a crop calendar. Obviously, if you're running seasons, it will show for you guys. And it will actually show you when you can plant and harvest all of your crops. So, for example, obviously, I'm currently doing some alfalfa, which can basically be sown between March and November. And then harvested pretty much every, well, every month throughout the year. So... The nice thing is, it, treat it like a grass. Obviously, you can mow it, but make sure you fertilize in lime and everything. And yeah, you should get a good yield off of it. You can, it will regrow. It's one of the few crops that does regrow. Obviously, there's alfalfa, clover, um, sugar cane, poplar. I think oh, that's that spawner all. failure was just mm. try spawning animals was having an issue this morning for sure. But yeah. The server log. 
But yeah, just have a look on that little mint, the crop calendar, and it'll show you exactly. Even the orchards, if you're wanting to know where you play, how, when to place them, obviously you just look in the here, and it will tell you. Now, obviously, if you're not running the seasons, obviously this won't show, so you can actually plant it any time, harvest any time throughout the year. Weather doesn't affect it at all. There we go. Oh, why am I got a gap there? Did I miss a... Oh, yeah, I think I missed the line, didn't I? But, yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the, the day. And probably half of the night in-game. I do know at some point I'd want to get in, get some of the uh, fish collected, as well as some more of the lobster pots. And I need to keep an eye on the coffins. Oh, so much to do. So little time. Monikin. But yeah, obviously the weekend I will go through the animals and do a little bit of testing, see if I can get them working again. I really hope so. There we go. Wish it was in a delay. I'm not exactly sure where he's having his issue. Yeah, might be worth mm -hmm. while messaging Dave direct through Discord. What? How far he's getting? What? I, yeah, I have no idea. Trato says the servers are working fine. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly, Vortex. I've been on this. Every, we've had several people on the servers. So I'm just oh, yeah. Sure. It ran good. And oh, yeah, and Darius had his, has had his up all day. Apart from obviously doing mm. one or two little tweaks in that last update. You do have to fun. have that password protected. In order to see the server in the list. You're freezing. You should find some warmth. <laughs> I'm perfectly warm. Well, obviously not if you're freezing. Well, that's probably help my wife if I put clothes on. Now. I got me a bird. Ugh. Ooh. Escape the llamas and alpacas bring traffic to a standstill. Run him over. Oh. <laughs> Where is that? Herbert. Base camp over the lakes. could make a ghillie suit. Wow. Oh, actually, talking about alpacas, my wife is knitting me in an alpaca scarf. Alpaca wool <laughs> scarf. I'm like, yay! <laughs> the wool turned up to, um, earlier today, and she's already made a start on it, so... <laughs> hopefully... I don't know how long it's going to take her to make a scarf, but yeah. Hopefully not too long. Winter is coming. But I'm just glad I'm not in North Dakota, that's for sure. Um, I don't know how many of you guys are aware, but obviously I've got um, family who've just recently moved over to North um, Dakota in America. And obviously they've got all, obviously all set, settled in and stuff. They've got their Halloween decorations. They were even in the local news. And literally, what, about last 24 48 hours they have had a massive amount of snowfall literally all of their um decorations have been covered with snow it's like oh cripes but yeah that's a good start to a new house so <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> i kind of feel sorry for them when they say almost feel like saying send some over here uh but yeah they've had a good foot maybe a couple of feet of um, snow there already makes me jealous <laughs> that's what I promise it's cold there in winter ah okay uh, yes 
I do miss having snow. I don't get it enough where I am. I have NBC send it to you. Well, that's the thing. I've mentioned it to Darius, I've mentioned it to NBC and other people. Whenever they get snow set, they say, oh, we don't want snow. Send, I just send it to me. Send it to the UK. I would love to have some. I know my daughter's been waiting and waiting and waiting um, for some snow. But yeah, we never really ever actually get some decent snow here. It's terrible. It surprises me with it as rainy as over there is made out mm. to be. You would think that. Oh yeah, we get a lot of rain, but very, it doesn't. Well, obviously, well, depending on where you are in the UK, yes, you get some snow. Oh, okay. But obviously, I'm down in the south, and we very, very rarely get snow where I am. Obviously, where my wife's boys are, they get loads of snow. So, and knowing, well, I know my wife wants to actually move there eventually, once my daughter's out of school. So, <laughs> who knows? In a few years' times, I'll be moving. So. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So maybe one of these times I'll have a semi um, white Christmas again. Did they add tech stuff to this version? Not yet. Yeah, not yet. Have you have you scrolled all the way down in the Ingrams? No. I don't remember seeing that much. They added a lot today stuff for tech. Seemingly. It, it, it's a lot. Winter sucks. Are you, are you a summer sort of person? Are you a vortex? I like Everybody also. Says they want snow. Well, with the exception of NBC. Everybody <laughs> says they want snow, and then once they get it, they're like, I don't want it no more. Oh, no, I'd love it because then I'd be snowed in. Wouldn't have to do runs to the, to the school. My daughter can walk herself. It'd be great. Um, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think it's just it brings out the child in me, shall we say? I thought that's what alpacas did. <laughs> that's that's the hogs. <laughs> <laughs> do I want the Arc Dev Kit Beta or the Arc Dev Kit? Knowing you, you Ugh. want the Beta. Problem. How big is it? 200? <laughs> it doesn't say yet. Ooh, I hope this doesn't take too long to load, save. Ooh. This could hurt. Um, Mr. Surfin hates the cold. Really? And Vortex, you're terrible, guys. You really, really are. Uh, anybody with back issues hates the cold. Oh, for it. Huh? Oh, he's missed a bit right there as well. Dang it. I don't have enough room on my Just help, help us. Right. I don't have a single drive that has even close to 345 gigs available. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's that big this time? Mm hmm. Almost need to buy a freaking hard drive specifically for that and ARC. Hmm. A terabyte hard drive. <laughs> 345 gigs. Let's see how expensive. I don't think are. I can free up that much room. Unless I remove On Farm Sim. No, don't do it. M move it to a different drive. If you got any space on uh, it, yeah, maybe. Well, I you've have got it on Steam uh, and Giants, don't you? Cold. The only Give thing me I warm weather. <sighs> well, the Spring dev kit has to be installed. It's a separate. <laughs> well, yeah. I have a lot of space on my western digital drive but I would have to get rid of <sighs> that's gonna bug me yeah don't I'm not gonna worry about it right now 
because I didn't know how big it was. Right. And um, now that I know how big it is, <laughs> I now know that there is a... I know you don't have money, uh, but there is <coughs> a Western Digital 1 terabyte uh, uh, SATA for 50 bucks. I already have two S SSDs in my Ooh, computer. Both slots is... are filled. I'd have to reformat one and what? And that two one terabyte for sixty four. That's that's cheap. Oh, I don't. I already have a are, two are terabyte. Are you maxed out? What? Your board maxed out for M.2s? Yeah, you only get two slots well, yeah, and I got them both I already. I didn't know you had two of them. I knew you had no, I, one. Well, the original one's only a half a... Ter a half, uh, well, 512 500. gig. Yeah. But that's the one that the operating system's running on. So if I was to replace that one with a bigger one, I would have to reformat the whole dang computer and I'm not doing it. Right. Don't blame me on that. That would suck. System needs a cleanup. Mm-hmm. Probably, I could probably free up stuff, but. Right, so there's two bits of that hard help I seem to have missed, so I need to go back through and get them. Now, I there. wonder, Dave, that's not, may not be very safe and guaranteed, but put all of your uh, zip up all of the, the FS19 mods and put it on Mediafire. And then you can delete All the FS19 mods are already on my uh, backup uh, 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 okay. drive. Never mind then. <laughs> I have a... Which is not a solid state. <laughs> I'm trying to come up with ideas. <laughs> He's trying... Oh, I, He's could, trying. I could get there. I'm going to have yeah, to sure. uninstall a lot of things and move stuff around. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Hoping. I mean, I'm... Yeah. Yeah. I've got enough space actually on that one drive, the other drive, but it would leave right. like two gigabytes left and then the drive's not going to run with that. Right. Yeah, you'll be getting a couple blue screen errors. That's the other end of that. Yeah. Is it just a little strip he's missed or something? Where'd they go? There. Okay. Uh, how come he missed a tiny little... Why, hate, why is this? Like that? <sighs> That's just weird. Do you guys have to log in every time now when you go streaming? Nope. No. Do what? Mine has Stream to authorize. Labs or... Streamlabs wants to authorize every single time. Choose your platform. Set up your webcam. Set up your microphone. Hmm, that's weird. Really? Could now continue. That I see that though, what is this? Problem with shortcut. Oh. Everything yeah, changed online. That. Have you had an update recently or something? Um, There's always an update on something. <laughs> Especially on his computer. Yeah, true. <laughs> with everything he has. Where? Silly question, eh? Yeah, yeah what I, kind of question is that? Yeah, I'm using OBS as well, and I rarely ever have issues nowadays. Even, like, disconnecting mm -hmm. and stuff, I haven't... Might get the odd little bit of buffering f from usually my internet, but yeah, apart from that, it's not as bad as everybody yeah, else's. Yeah, I used to use OBS. Mm. Yeah, I've kind of been switching between the two, and I definitely think... OBS does seem a lot more stable than slobs, in my opinion. 
<laughs> I used to use OBS, but had so many more problems with it. That's why I switched to slums. Now do I got to switch back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it used to be more stable. Hmm. It's really weird. I'm a very unstable individual. Yep, very, very oh, true. And I hope know. you're live. I just hit the button. Oh, good boy. Good boy. I'm I'm gonna be miserable today, so yeah, that's fine. Go ahead, everybody. Oh, great! What is we'll this try about? To minimize the amount of. Let's see. Let's bring you up and keep an eye on that. Minimize TikTok. the amount of it. So you've got far, just under six minutes. Okay. Dave farming. Um, according to his title, yeah, he's doing Farming Friday on Canyon Crossing. Yep. Or he, yep. he could be harvesting dinosaurs as well. You'd never know. <laughs> right. <laughs> farming dinos, exactly, yeah. I think... Go. Right, so I'm going to keep carrying on doing this. So obviously, I'm yeah. not going to bother with the credits today, guys. So, just want to say a big, huge thank you to all you guys. Also, a big thanks to Mr. Green Thumb Farmer for allowing us to show off his new Woodworks production. Obviously, that will be coming out hopefully tomorrow. So, keep an eye on his Trello. Obviously, it is going to be um, replacing all of the production. Uh, productions from the Platinum DLC so you can combine it all into one big factory. Obviously I'm keeping an eye on the timer. Once it gets a little bit lower down we will go over to see Dave. Um, It'll be easy to farm until people like Big Daddy start coming in and start going on the server and I'm still farming and yeah, yeah that's, when, that's when it'll be. Alright I'm coming over. <laughs> Get me out of this. <laughs> <laughs> also one thing as well um i will be doing an up putting an update to the shed pack on my trello later today i did add in one additional storage as well i totally forgot about adding it but it's one for your oils so if you've got like the small oil production you could easily put all that in or the exotic oils so you'll have a storage for that that will distribute as well so That'll be coming later on today. I had a major problem this morning and it really picked me off. Oh, yeah. But yeah. 260 right. hide, 54 chit, and <laughs> like a whole bunch of fiber. I need Ooh. 10 more chit to get the right, Pteranodon saddle. Uh, Everything uh, else is already in my inventory. Keep going. <laughs> I tried attacking a trike to get some off of him. He killed me, and I couldn't find my body, and everything's gone. Oh. <laughs> that it was only... sucks. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. The body's not where it said it. I died. It's not there. I think Don B here, it'd be more arc, arc, and more arc at the minute, really. <laughs> but yeah. Actually, he's probably got them right in the right, exact right order right Farm now. Really? <laughs> Oh, I don't Arc know. Arc satisfactory than farming, yeah. Yeah. Right, how are we doing? Two, almost two minutes, so yeah, almost there, and then I'll just get this raid going. Da, 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 da. There. We've been farming for what? Two years now? Yep. Twelve years, if you count all the game? No. <laughs> Yep, and they're still going. Dang. Right. Still have room on our server if anybody's. Right then, so let's get this started. Mr. Dash. Don, did you get on the server? Dang it. I don't know if he got on. Who? There we go. Oh, yeah, fishing would have been before farming, too. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know. We're um... doing our fourth favorite game right now. 
for me farming fishing and maybe satisfactory but yeah obviously guys i will be back on monday same time same place have a great weekend we're gonna get this raid going so if you're not following mr jazznet please come over and see what he's doing today you never know he might just switch part way through to doing a bit of arc you never know but have a great weekend guys and see you all later bye Actually, I can honestly say that the only thing, seven days slipped me.